Morning ladies and gents, um, I'm just coming on very quickly to share this, excuse me a minute, <laughs> just pulling a plug out there, um, to share this box card with you. Now I have made them in the past, you can go back through my videos and you will find it. The only difference with this one is I'm putting a cover on it, that's all I'm doing. So you're going to need a piece of cardstock to begin with that measures eight and a quarter by nine inches. Okay. And then you're going to score it on all four sides, a half an inch, one inch, one and a half inch and two inch on all four sides. Okay. And then on your long side, you're going to put an extra score in just up to the one inch line, the one inch score line. Okay, so you're going to do a two and a half inch score up to the one inch score line. And you will be left with I'll show you now. <laughs> This is what your cardstock should look like. Before you cut the pieces off. <laughs> okay, so that's what it should be like before you cut the pieces off. Now you'll see there's my two and a half inch score line okay so what you're going to do is you're going to cut down two diagonal across three and up across four so the pieces you cut away should leave you with that shape there Okay, and that's what the pieces should look like that you cut away. So you can see I've got me half inch, me one inch, me one and a half and me two inch. And then I've got me two and a half inch just down to that first score line. Okay, and that's where we cut it off there. So then what you're going to do is when you cut your pieces out you're going to come up the first two go diagonal on the third and then up straight on the fourth and that's what shape your pieces should look like that you cut out of four corners okay so then what you're going to do is you're going to burnish all your score lines, like we do, fold them in, give them a burnish, and you're going to do that all the way round. So your card ends up looking like that. And this light is atrocious, so let me just see if I can. So you'll end up with something that looks like that. Okay, and there are other sides. I'll just straighten mine out a bit. Okay. So that's what you're going to end up with. The shape, that should be the shape of your card once you've cut them corners away. Okay. So as I say, you burnish all them score lines. Now, before I put my, um, before I fold it all up and what have you, I want to stick my DSP, my background DSP in the centre. Okay, before I fold anything in. All right, so I'm just going to put glue on the back of this. Let me see. I 
and this measures sorry four and two eighths by four and seven eighths I did write it on the back <laughs> Okay, so I'm just putting mine in, making sure it's not interfering with any of them score lines and giving it a good squash down. And this card looks difficult, but believe me, it's not difficult <laughs> at all. <laughs> okay, so there's my background piece that I wanted. Now we're going to there's no easier way to do it, so I'm just going to go for it. On the last strip of your card, okay, it's going to fold over like that. So, what you want is, on the very last strip here, you can either put tape or you can put glue. Glue gives you that bit of wiggle room, which you will need to slot your, sli slot your sides in. In actual fact, I'm going to start with the sides, okay? So on the very last score line, the last half an inch, just run a small bead of glue, okay? So that when you fold it over, that will grip. Okay, and just give it a minute just to grab. I need something little to... <laughs> I'm going to use my pokey tool just to give it a little squash. <laughs> to help that grab. Oh, come on. Right, we'll leave that one alone. <laughs> and we'll do the same on the other side. So on the last half inch, just a small bead of glue. Right the way along. And we're going to fold it in on our score lines. Get yourself covered in glue. <laughs> right, there we're going. We're flying. Just give that a mini. So you can see it coming together. You can see the box definitely coming together. And I'm just going to shove my pokey tool in again. And same on this end. That's why I said to put your design series paper or your background in first. Okay, so there's the side of our box. Now we're going to do exactly the same to this one. We're going to do a small bead of glue along the last half inch score line. Okay. Sometimes you don't even need the glue. Sometimes it will fold up that well that it will just lock into itself. Okay, but if you want this card to last, it's worth taking that little bit of extra time. While that's drying down there, I can 
run a small bead of glue on the end of this one. Okay, and we're going to do the same again. <laughs> Let me see what have I got that I can put on there for a minute just to hold it in place. <laughs> and we're just going to do the same to this end and we're going to fold it in and we're going to get covered in glue <laughs> okay so we'll just give this a mini. Right, so while that's, um, let me find something heavy. <laughs> no. Use your head mail, get another block your feet up for dancing. Right, I'm going to stick that on there till that takes. So, <laughs> your cover part. is going to measure five and a quarter by nine and a half inches okay and you're going to score it at four and three eighths and at five inches so that will give you that shape okay now what I done was I put on my DSP and I put my baker's twine on and stuck it down. Then I took my where are they? My layering ovals, the stitched edge one edge ones, and what I done was took the second to biggest, which is that one. And you can see because it's still got the tape on it. Where I held it in place. So we took me second to biggest, and then what I done was I made a frame as well. And how you make a frame is you take the second to biggest and the biggest, you marry them up together with a little gap in between because you don't want them crossing over on each other. And you stick them, you can see my tape where my tape's been. You stick them down onto your card or whatever you're using and run it through your die cutting machine and that's the frame that'll come out. And you can see the stitched edge on there. Okay, so that now is big enough because the hole is the same size as the second biggest die I used, so just using both of them together created a bigger outer side. So that's how you do your frames and that will work with any laden die, not just ovals, it'll work with squares, whatever you have. So I'm going to put my frame on the outside now while all the others gluing at the minute. So I'm just running a bead of glue around my frame. Okay. And that should marry up exactly with my outer, uh, my cut circle. So I'm just giving that a squash as well. <laughs> if you watch my channel enough, you know I tend to have problems with sticky stuff. <laughs> Okay, that should be well and truly stuck now. So there's my frame on. 
I've also, out of the, um, what are they called, Christmas lamppost thinlets. Okay, and you can buy them with the brightly lit Christmas and you'll save 10%. Um, I've cut out the lamppost. Well, it's either a lamppost or a signpost. It depends what you want to use it for. Okay, so I've cut that out there. Got glue all over me now. Um, I've also cut out one of these little filigree pieces. I'll just show you what you get in here. Okay, so there's the post itself. These are your banners or your signs. That's for a, a wreath. There's your lamps from your lamppost in there. And then you'd have these little filigree pieces. And I've just cut one of them out. <clears throat> okay. So I've cut one of them out and I've cut out... out um, I've stamped and cut. May your Christmas be bright. So now I'm just going to stick my lamp post on, well my post. Try and not get as much glue on myself. I should use tweezers really. <laughs> And I'm sticking this down, but I'm sticking it more or less towards the end of my cover. Because when I put this on, I don't want it to interfere that much with that um, oval. <laughs> okay, so that's all I've done. I've just stuck my post down. And I'm now going to stick my filigree piece down. And that's where these fine nib glue come in brilliant. Um, people have asked me where I get them from. I get them off eBay. Um, I do get them in a packet of... It's either five or ten I go for. You can get them in either five or ten and I think I always go for the ten so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick this onto the end here straight Mel <laughs> Get covered in glue again. Okay, and then I'm just going to stick my little greeting down. And that should have given our box enough time to dry while we've been faffing about. So I'm just going to stick that there. Like I said, I didn't want it to interfere with my oval, my window. So there's our sign post. That's now the front of our box card. Move all this out the road. And what we're going to do is stick that into the inside of our card and we will have a window on our card. So we're going to turn it over. <laughs> I 
That's the only thing about these bottles is these little caps. So I'm running a bead of glow down. And I'm going to put a bead of glue down the side as well. And that side is going to attach onto the gusset we made in our card. So I think that's central and I'm going to lift up the side because we want to glue that down as well. Okay so there's our card and now for the inside, <laughs> what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bend that back for a kick off. What can I use to keep that there? <laughs> the joys, the joys, the joys. <laughs> right, so to finish off our card, what I'm going to do is, I've cut out a number of Christmas trees so I've cut out a number of Christmas trees and I'm going to stick them in there a bit higher okay and I've also cut out some deer and they come in the I shall sh the card builder dies. So I'm just deciding where I want them. <laughs> Okay, and what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to use dimensionals on these so that we give them a little bit of a pop. You could always put another um, greeting on the inside if you wish to. And you see these little dimensionals. I don't know whether it's just me, but I can't get seem to get through them. I'll <laughs> just stick. Uh, a little dimensional on the back of our deer. That's if it'll fit. And I'm sorry, but the only fit it, place it seems to fit properly is its bottom. <laughs> I 
take another one. What you can do, I did mean to put some glitter on, but I forgot before I stuck them down. So I'm just going to go over with a bit of Wink Stella. And I'm not squeezing it, as I said before. I always keep mine standing up um, so it's always ready to go. Because I know sometimes especially when you first get them you give them a good squeeze and it comes out in big blobs so that's all I'm doing is just covering our trees with our wink of Stella just to give them a bit of shimmer and then on the tops, I can take our little gems just put them on the tips of our trees And there you go, there is our, I think it's lovely, box card. Um, that's it when it's closed. May your Christmas be bright. I've just used some real red baker's twine by the way. Um, just solid colour. Um, and that's our card inside. You can always do something else, something different on the inside of yours. I'm just giving you that idea. Um, and you can take it away and run with it and do whatever you want to do. So that's our card complete. And if you didn't get my measurements for the box, please scroll down, down my videos and you will actually see me scoring one and cutting it. Um okay. So I hope you'd enjoyed that. And um take care everyone. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.